third class of abacus. On the board, I have some questions written. Now, we're going to solve them and I'm going to help you know the answer. And we're going to do with fingering theory. First, we have one plus five. So we take one and five. And let's see what the answer is. It is six. So we are going to write six. Next question is three plus five. Now we are going to take three and plus five. And the answer is eight. So let's write eight on the whiteboard. The next question is 5 plus 2. Let's take 5 and a plus 2. So the answer is 7. The next question is 5 plus 4. So let's take 5 and add 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the, so the answer is 9. Now, number five is a tricky question, but I'll help you. The, so the first number we have is two. Then we need to add one. And for the final addition, we need to do plus five. So I'm going to plus five, two, three, which is eight. And our last question is, is also tricky. So, the first number is 1. Then we need to add 3, which is 4. And finally, we need to add 5. And the answer is 9. Now we're going to do these sums within abacus. So, the first sum is 2 plus 5. So in our abacus, we'll take 2 and then add 5. So the answer is 7. Next up is 4 plus 5. So let's do that with our abacus. So for our first number, we have 4. And then we need to add 5. So let's add 5. So the answer is 9. Our next sum is 5 plus 1. So in our abacus, we will take 5 and then add 1, which is 6. So let's write 6. Now our fourth question is 5 plus 3. So for our first number, we will take 5 and then add 3. Now we can see that the answer is 8. So let's write 8 on our board. Now the fifth number question is 1 plus 5 plus 3. So the first number is 1. Then we need to add 5. And finally we need to add 3. 1, 2, 3. Now we can see that the answer is 9. Let's write 9 for the fifth answer. Now, the final question is 1 plus 2 plus 5. So the first number is 1. Then we need to add 2. And finally, we need to add 5. So the answer is 8. Now let's write 8 as our final answer. For our last sums, we are going to use mental. The first sum is 1 plus 1. So we need to draw our abacus. Now we need to add 1 and add another 1. And the answer is 2. So we're going to write 2 here. Our next sum is 1 plus 2. So let's draw our imaginary abacus, add 1 and add 2, 1 and 2. So the 
answer is three. For our third sum, it is one plus three. Let's add one and then plus three. One, two, three. So the answer is four. For number four, this is a hard question, but we will make through it. So, let's draw our imaginary abacus. And now, let's add two. One, two. Then we need to add one. And then we need to add another one. So, the answer is four. For the fifth number question, we need to add a two and add another two. So let's draw our imaginary abacus and let's add two and let's add another two. One and two. The answer is four. And for our last question, it is three plus one. So let's draw our imaginary abacus and add the numbers together. So three, one, two, three, and then we need to add one, one. So the answer is four. Now we have finished mental, so now I'm going to give you homework. So here are the homework I gave you. And if you did not understand this video, you can go back to one of my previous classes to know about abacus. My first class just teaches you the basics of abacus and in the second one we just do a little bit of sums like this video. But if you do not understand, I would recommend that you would